Not this eating thing again, Pippa. Shannon, I'm sorry. I just can't stand by and watch you do this to yourself. Do what to myself? You're still starving yourself by the looks of things. Please, will you let me take you to a doctor? He'd love to find out there's something wrong with me, wouldn't you? They'd make you really happy. Shannon. You're turning into a nag, Pippa. There is nothing wrong with me and I don't need to go and see a doctor, so leave me alone. Go away. Sorry, wrong answer. Pippa, please. Shannon, I am not going to stand by and pretend this isn't happening. It's far too serious. I'm not sick. Well, as it happens, Shannon, I don't think you're the best judge of that at the moment. There are those of us who think you are very sick. And I am not going to let up until you do something about it. It's an invasion of privacy. Okay, yes, maybe. But I don't think your right to privacy allows you to completely destroy your body and I'm not supposed to try and stop you. Now, look, I know you told me that you had this weight loss thing under control. But you're either lying to me or you're lying to yourself. <sighs> Shannon... I don't pretend to be an expert on anorexia. But it's more than just losing a few kilos here or there. People die from this. I know. Well, then you would also know that by the time they realise that there's something wrong, it's too late. I know all about that. Doesn't scare you? It would if I had anorexia. But I don't. She got the stupid anorexia idea from you, didn't she? She's not an idiot, Shannon. She can see for herself. See what? There's nothing to see. Keep it real. What else do I have to do to prove it? Well, why don't you just do what you did with me before? What are you talking about? I asked you if you were anorexic because I care about you. You lied to me. That whole business about the burger was an act. How can you say it was an act? I ate it, didn't I? Yeah, but what'd you do with it afterwards? You're supposed to be a friend. Good timing. What's up with that? Huh. What is it? Anyway, what do you want? Actually, she was acting really weird. She said it was all my fault you were hassling her. She does have a problem, doesn't she? Yeah, she does. Well, what's wrong with her? If you don't mind me asking. She's not eating, Alf. Not that anorexia thing. Yeah, but she's exhibiting all the symptoms of it. Oh, Pippa, that's awful. Oh, you can't take any risks with that. You're going to have to get her to a doctor. Well, I'd love to, Marilyn, but I can't make her go. But you can't just stand around and let her starve to death, either. Alf, if you've got any suggestions, I'd love to hear them. No one is standing around watching her starve herself to death. She just needs convincing that she needs help, that's all. Oh, that's awful. Couldn't have happened to a nicer person. Angel! I'm sorry, Marilyn, but I've got no sympathy for the girl. Now, I know it's lousy, and I wish I felt different, but I don't. So there's no point in being a hypocrite, is there? I'll just never forgive her for what she did to my family. You were right. What? You were right. Please help me, Pippa. Tell me. 